Hey, good evening. Welcome to Evening Prayer, September 22nd, 2020. I'm Pastor Steve Woodfin from Our Shepherd Lutheran Church in Birmingham, Michigan. OurShepherd.net. Find out all about how God is using us to bring the gospel into our neighborhood and our community. So we're going to talk about Matthew 18, verses 1 to 5 today. It's the same text for my message to the Our Shepherd School Chapel tomorrow morning. We recorded that today. Uh, and I wanted you to have the same message that they're going to be hearing. Uh, it'll be shorter, though, I promise. Uh, and and uh, here's some good news, too. It's looking like we're getting close to um, to pulling the trigger on going to live chapels again. Um, you can imagine it's not nearly as, as rewarding uh, uh, to record a video to an empty church and then have the kids watch in their classrooms as it is to actually be able to interact with them and involve them in the message. And so uh, we want them to, to really take God's word to heart and that means really living it in the chapel message, which, which all of us do. We always bring the kids in and help them to experience God's word. So um, looking like sometime in October, we'll be able to, to have live chapel again. All glory to God. We're very excited about that. So in the meantime, the video is available on our Vimeo channel if you want to take a look at it. Uh, but I will give the message tonight that's similar to what the kids are going to hear tomorrow morning. So we begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, O Most High, to herald your love in the morning, your truth at the close of day. And we hear from Matthew 18, verses 1 to 5. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus and asked him, Who then is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a little child to him and placed the child among them. And he said, Truly, I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever takes the lowly position of this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. Wow. You know, we've talked in the past about Jesus saying things that would lead the disciples and all the hearers open mouth, and this would be one of them. Several times in the Gospels, we see the disciples kind of jockeying for positions of power and influence and greatness. Even the mother of two of the disciples making a plea for her sons to have a special spot by Jesus. They wanted this, they wanted this, this, this position of power. They wanted a position of glory. And Jesus, as always, turns it upside down and says, no, if you become like this little child, this child who's completely humble, completely dependent on his or her parents for everything in his life, completely trusting, then you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. Not just not be great, but not even get into the kingdom of heaven. Now, I asked the kids today as I was teaching 8th grade confirmation, or 8th grade religion, tell me some people that you think are great. And then I showed the pictures in the chapel message today. They, they mentioned people like LeBron James, uh, Patrick Mahomes. Uh, who else? Well, they mentioned uh, Aaron Rodgers, but that was really for me. <laughs> so they mentioned sports celebrities. And then to those photos, I also added Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I added Abraham Lincoln. Rosa Parks. People that the world would consider great for all different reasons. Accomplishments in sports, um, uh, instrumental in ending slavery in the country, uh, someone who stood up against an unjust system no matter what the consequences. So those are people that we consider to be great. And those are some great things that they did that improved the lives of millions of, of humans. But yet Jesus says, no, that's that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for you to trust me. I'm looking for you to completely depend on me. I'm looking for you to humble yourself and see who you are before God. You are sinners. You are separated from God. But in his great mercy, he has sent me, Jesus says, to die on the cross, to rise again. And because of God's mercy, because of his grace, because of his love, now you have a way to heaven through faith in Christ. Understand that and be humble about it. And I said to the kids, 
uh, because one of the kids in the eighth grade class actually said, I think my grandpa is great because he's taking care of my grandma. She's not, she's not very well. And he just is kind of setting his life aside to take care of grandma. And I said, that's getting there. That's getting there when Jesus is talking about that humility of totally trusting and depending on him, of setting your own life aside for the sake of someone else. That's what God calls us to do, setting our own lives aside for the sake of the gospel of Jesus Christ and sharing his love, being all about walking this earth as lights and always, always trusting in God completely and totally. That is the life of a true child of God. And it's possible only by God's grace and by his Holy Spirit's leading. And he makes it happen for our sake. Amen. Well, let's begin uh, uh, a time of prayer. The Lord's Prayer, a concluding prayer, and we'll also end with Luther's evening prayer as well. So let's pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Visit our dwellings, O Lord, and in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And Heavenly Father, make us, by your Spirit, humble servants, those who depend completely on you, those who trust totally in you, those who recognize that our way into your kingdom is only by your grace, through the work of Jesus Christ on the cross and through the empty tomb. Lord, may that humility uh, uh, turn out into the world as great love and grace for others, so that by your power and by your Holy Spirit's leading, some may be saved and enter into your kingdom for eternity. We pray in the name of Christ. Amen. Well, let's pray Luther's evening prayer together. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day, and I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. The closing word for tonight is from Matthew 18, verse 5. And whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace now and forever. Amen. Have a wonderful evening in the Lord, and I'll see you tomorrow morning.